Let's turn to the forecast now with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. I know a lot of people are thinking about getting up and out and doing mm -hmm. something, Tammy. Yeah, today's the day. Today is the day. Tomorrow, a little bit on the wet side. Yeah. You know what? We have now started April. So let's talk about the month of April. How about that? Uh, normally, our high and low, the average high is 59 on today's date, the average low, 39. Let's talk about the extremes. The warmest April day on record for Philadelphia, 95 degrees. Can you imagine that? On April 17, 2002, not that long ago, the coldest April night was 14 degrees. We don't have anything like that in the next seven days. That was April 1st, 1923. Quite the April Fool's joke there on everyone. And the snowiest was 19.4 inches of snow in 1915. That was the snowiest April. And the snowiest month, uh, the wettest month of April was uh, just over nine inches in 2007. So those are the extremes. We're not looking at anything like that right now. It's 43 in Philadelphia, 38 now in town, 40 in Reading, 43 in Atlantic City, and 43 in Millville. Off to the west, we have the 30s. To the north, we have the 30s. So no big surge in temperature. In fact, no huge change. This is the national map of the highs today. You notice the warmth across the southern tier of states. Then we've got the 50s and 60s across the central part of the country. That includes us. And then up here, the northern tier, we do have some 40s. But pretty much everything is kind of flattened out. That is going to be our pattern for the next three or four days. We have a zonal flow. That means going from west to east with the jet stream. No big uh, dips in the jet stream. We've seen that cold Canadian air being pulled down. Watch what happens. It just gets sort of flat. There you go. So our temperature is going to be seasonable. We're going to be in the 50s and 60s. That's where we should be this time of year. We do have clearing skies, still some clouds in the Poconos. We have lots of clear off to the south and the west of us. That's where high pressure is. Further to the west, we have another system. Look at all that snow in Wisconsin. No snow for us, maybe a few flakes in the Poconos, but we get the rain. So here we go. We're going to be watching these winds out of the north and the west. They're going to swing more to the west and then the south by this afternoon. We're looking at a high of 58 with lots of sunshine. Clouds move in tonight. We could see rain by about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. That'll cross the area through the morning. Here we are at 1130. Then scattered showers in the afternoon and evening. And then it clears out tomorrow night. Then we have a very chilly start, a seasonable but chilly start to our Monday in the 30s. Then we move ahead to Tuesday. Clouds move in on Tuesday. Here comes rain Tuesday night, pretty much on and off all day on Wednesday. We get a little break. Then we get another system, system number two, with some afternoon thunderstorms possible that we have to keep an eye on for Thursday. And then we get a break. And then a third system comes through for our Friday. So a very busy end to next week. 58 out there for today. Tomorrow we'll see 57, and we'll see those showers on and off. We will see 62 on Monday. That, by the way, is the pick day of the week. 65 on Tuesday with clouds. We're looking at 62 Wednesday with showers. Thunderstorms that we have to keep an eye on Thursday. And then showers for Friday morning. Jan? All right, Tammy, thank you.